Hey there, welcome to my channel and welcome to my office. Today we are inside and we are putting together a seed starting station. Say that three times fast. I want a little extra insurance in this unseasonably warm winter that we are having in conjunction with my winter sewing. And so I decided I'm gonna put together a seed starting shelf and I wanted to share that with you. So I'm gonna put it together today. I decided the best place was in my office. I spend a lot of time here doing my landscape designs and I have a view of my garden down there. And so I thought the best place to put the shelf would be here against this is a closet. And, you know, I don't use the closet for now. Um, I'm going to set it up here. It can be moved super easy. So let me show you what I got. This weekend, I went to Lowe's and I found these plastic shelves. They're heavy duty, five tier commander, and they were on sale for $98, which I thought was a great deal. I found on Walmart that I could pick up at the store these 5,000 lumen four foot shop lights. So I have placed another order with walmart.com and they are actually shipping me four more. And that will allow me to do three shelves with lights. And then the bottom shelf, if I need it, I can order two more. I'm not sure how many of each seed variety I'm going to plant. So I'm just going to start out with what I've got and not go crazy. So now I'm going to put the shelf together and we're going to see how, how it works, where it's at. A shelf it is great very easy to put together I want to show you um, how to hang the lights so each light comes with two chains both chains have a hook on the end and it also comes with an S hook the one that's on the end of the chain goes in the light like this hook it over like that and then hook the end of this on it probably could do that before you hang it up but you're gonna adjust your light height. And obviously this isn't high enough. So the, each of these links you can, you know, you can raise it up. As the seeds germinate, you know, obviously you raise it up, but you want to have it very close over your seed. So you have to decide where you want, and I'm gonna have to decide where I want the lights. But for the sake of this video and to see how it works, I'm gonna raise it up probably halfway. So I'm gonna do that now. So here's our light, our shelf where the tea trays will go. As you can see, I hooked it in, hooked it over here, and I just counted the number of little links, and that's how it will look. From what I have seen, uh, with this kind of light, you want to have two. So my plan is to have two per shelf. I'm gonna go ahead and hang the next one and let's just see what it looks like. I am ready to show you what it's going to look like with the lights on and so I'm gonna go ahead, I've turned the overhead light off for dramatic effect. We definitely need this to be very dramatic, right? <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna turn the lights on and let's see how it looks. I'm gonna do it both at the same time. Ready? One, two, three. <gasps> ah, I see the light. We're back with day two and I wanted to show you all of the lights that I've hung. There's also a difference in the lights that I got from the Walmart store and the walmart.com just in case you are interested in purchasing lights for a grow station like I've got. Nothing different, but they look different. Their appearance is different. So, like you can see the difference between the two. These don't have that hood. They seem a lot slimmer. So these came from the actual store. These came from walmart.com. And so what I'm thinking is these must be the older model and these must be the newer ones that are thinner and smaller. 
all 5,000 lumen, all um, with the two strips of lights. They look exactly the same from underneath, just narrower. So it doesn't appear to matter, but I just, you know, wanted to make you aware of that. Let me show you really quick my power area. So I went and got a six outlet surge protector and I've only plugged four of the lights, four of the six lights in that I had to tie it on using a zip tie. So I've got two down and another extension cord that is actually plugged into the wall, just so I can be safe and not burn the house down with, you know, electrical currents touching the plastic. I just, I don't, um, I don't wanna take a chance with that. The cords here are a bit of a mess. Uh, and so, because I don't wanna look at cords going all over everywhere, I'm gonna bunch them up and sort of secure them to the side of the shelf if I can. Um, and so I'm gonna do that now. And then I wanted to show you something, the 25 years worth of starting seeds that I have used this. Look how far we have come with our grow light technology, how big and bulky this is. I wanna say it's from Park Seeds. This thing has lasted forever. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this video and I will do a quick, let me show you how many seed trays I can fit on here. I'm gonna go ahead and tie this up and then we're gonna wrap it up. But I wanna say thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being the best part of my day and for um, allowing me to show you my seed starting station. I'm really, really excited about starting some seeds this week and seeing what we can come up with. And I hope that you will come back and go along with me and uh, let's see what kind of seeds we can get. And I will see you again soon. Take care.